That's why it's a podcast. You don't want to watch this video. You want to like just hear it because it's just fucking crazy, man, the, the shit that we went through. So the next day, guess what I do? I go back out there. Same suit. Same. Did I wear the same shoes? No, I think I put on sneakers. I definitely put on sneakers. We go out there. Me and John. Now it's me and John. We go back to Bayonne. But, you know, Bayonne's huge. So we did another avenue or another street. And he sent me to a door. And it was like a school bus company. Not a school bus company. It was a bus company. Go inside a bus company. First person I pitched. Bought. And I thought I was the shit. I thought I was like fucking Zig Ziglar. I thought I was like the number one salesperson in the world. I thought I was like, you couldn't tell me nothing. And this is like Monday, like a Monday or Tuesday. It had to be a Tuesday or something. But I had like a week, week and a half before Christmas. So I never explained money with that. I'll get into that later. But let me just tell you, like the first person that bought for me, I was, I was kind of like, that was like a drug. Like it was, I got addicted to it. Now I'm like, I want them. I want to sell everything. I have to sell everything. The bag was heavy enough. The bag was, I had the big military bag. I looked nice and I had a ponytail. And everybody's like, what do you got, buddy? What do you got? Bayonne was nice to me. Shout out to Bayonne. <sighs> that was a while ago, bro. We sold out. We sold out, of course. We didn't come back with nothing. I was excited. We got back to the warehouse. And they have like this, um, they have like this bell at the time. Some people, some offices had gongs where you just fucking throw it, hit the gong. And you basically mean, what it means is you hit your quota, you sold all your products that day, you sold out, you did well, you made a good profit. I didn't know nothing about it, but all I know is when I got back to the office, people are like ringing the bells. And I'm like, the fuck's going on? The music, doots, 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 doots. Fucking people go ding, 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 ding. This dude named TJ. Shout out to TJ. I said his name, but nobody knows what his real name is. <laughs> I know his real name. TJ. What up, TJ? I haven't seen and heard TJ in a while, but we get going. TJ's ringing the bell, high-fiving people. They're, they're showing money, basically bragging like, look, I sold out. I made some money. I'm like, yeah, fuck you. We sold out too. Shit. We did our thing. You know what I'm saying? So we leave. It's about to go. And John's like, well, you did really good. Um, we're going to pay you at the end of the week. And um, you made about like $40 today in profit. You know, 40 times six. What is it? Six? Yeah, four times six. We worked on Saturday. That's $240 or some shit. $40 a day. I don't know. So I made $40. I didn't sell a lot. I probably collected $80. So in hindsight, he hooked me up. He definitely hooked me up with some dough. And then um, what else happened? Oh, I, they started breaking down the price. Like how much stuff, you know, costs. How much profit you make. Now here's the tr here's the crazy back in the day you know what i mean this is like back in the day I stuff want. so john starts basically breaking it down how much profit i made so he's like this is how much you make he's like you make off the three for ten cars you made like off a ten dollar bill you made two dollars and seventy five cents. It wasn't three dollars because I remember we, it was still brand new. We started getting better pricing later on, but we were getting like two dollars and seventy five cents. And off a five dollar bill, you were making like seventy five cents or some stupid number, eighty five cents, some nickel and dime shit. And I ain't getting. That's how it was because back in those days, it was just different. Like. You say, you say that to somebody else right now, they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm making 75 cents. And you could buy your shit at the dollar store. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I don't care. I made $40 that day. And I was excited. Go home. Do it again the next day. A couple days before Christmas. Second day. Did I go back out with John? No. I do. I don't go out with John again. That did well with John. I go out 
with a guy. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give him an introduction. He's legendary in the game. Oh, New Yorker, Italian guy. I should have gave John a shout out like this. John was dope too. But John was, I, I want to say with John, it was more like, he was like business. He was like, I'm going to show you the sales in the business. John wasn't like on no, hey, look at me, motherfucker. We're going to sell some shit. Like, he wasn't like that. He was more like straight to the point, really like stern. So mil- militant type. So, but John, John got busy. John didn't fuck around. He showed me like he kept it real simple for like my personality at that time to make a sell and to get the hang of it. And he broke it down to me. So every time I went out with John, we always did well because like we just like just focus on selling shit. It wasn't like we were playing games and just like having a great time. It was like we're going to fucking work. We're going to work the system and that's it. The system. I'm going to be jumping around a lot with this stuff. So many, so much things that happen. The system was, if you see enough people out there, you'll find your buyer. Law of averages. One out of ten will buy. You had to do a pitch, though. And the pitch consisted of five elements. We're going to make it sound dope, all right? The five elements for sales was introduction, which is introducing yourself, of course. You look them right in the eye. Hi, how are you? Hi, good morning. Hey, how you doing? Hello there. Hello there. Um, you will come off excited too with some enthusiasm, right? You don't want to come in there like, hey man, hey man, hey man, help me out, buy some toys. Three for ten is cold. Um, and you you had to be enthusiastic, eye to eye contact. Um, oh smile. You gotta fucking smile. If you had fucked up teeth. Smile anyway. Show your gum line. <laughs> Fucking smile. You had to smile because the smile was contagious. They always said, if you smile, people smile back at you. Um, the second thing you had to do was you had to give them like a really quick short story. You had to keep it short and simple. That was the KISS principle, K-I-S-S. Keep it short and simple. Um, keep it short and sweet, stupid. Um... You would say, hi, I work with a wholesale company. We're doing a promotion today. I work for a marketing company. We're in the area today doing a promotion. We have some items that are like 80% off. I don't know if you get a chance to see what we have today, but we got a really, really great deals. Now, I couldn't say that shit because I was like non-communicative. I didn't have a gift of gab. I was shy. I was still like, you know, Fucking emo teenager shit. Hey, what's up, man? So I was just like, how you doing? I work with a wholesale company. We got a couple great deals for you today. I would say like, blah, 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 real fast. And then you would have to present the product. Now, here's the tricky part. Some people will shove the shit in your hand. Like, yeah, check it out. And some people will be like, did you get us? Did you see? I don't want to say it. My, my old school manager boss would be like, I hate when you do that. I was like, did you get one yet? Did you get yours yet? Did you see them? Did you, did you see what we got today? I was like, that was later on. But you kind of like get them to ask you what you have. You want to build that impulse. You want to take them on a ride. That's what they did with me with the whole, you know, I need a job. What is it? I don't know. Some marketing company. What could it be? I don't know. We're going to meet John. How would you like to make more a lot of money? We're going to look back. Yeah, like look at managers. This is Bill. Bill's going to show you. Bill, who the fuck is Bill? Like, good luck. We don't know if we get hired on. And it was like a fucking roller coaster. It was all impulse to get you to the fucking landing where you're like, that was a great ride. I'll, I'll do this job. I'll sell some shit. With the selling stuff, you get the product. You get them to say, what do you got? Where you put the product. You kind of like slowly put it in their hand in a way. Some people just shoved it in their hand. I didn't do that. I was nice. I was like, hey, if you, you know, did you get it? You know, we got a couple great deals. Take a look. And I would take the stuff out. And some people like, I don't want to see. I don't want nothing. Like, all right, no problem. You pack your shit and leave. If they didn't want to see what you had, for me, I was trained to just get the fuck out of there because you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. Don't try to sell it to them. Don't say, but, but you need it. But you need. he don't want it. He don't fucking want it. But let's say you get to the presentation. 
You, you get the product, you got to get the product in your hand, number one, because 